I wonder, what Black do you think about these, uh, what, do, what do you think about the, uh, like getting one of, like these, uh, the bit, like the mon the big broadcast monitor yeah. things? You know, I've never priced those out. Are you using this guy? Okay, thanks. I've had them, I've tried to have them send me that lens three times. They sent me the wrong one. So I talk, was talking to my friend about it. I said, well, she was like, oh, maybe that's why I didn't have any bad ones. Because it's like, I couldn't afford the other ones. It's, so it's meant to go right on the rail. No, the monitor? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, I think this is fairly new, actually. I know they've had monitors on top, but... Dude, I love V. Look, that's your follow-up. Yeah, so, that, so this is real. This is your standard broadcast stuff. So when I was shooting football and all the sports, you'd have a big zoom and a big focus. And you could just, it was so you could just really crank it in fast. I haven't And all these broadcast levels should be par focal, so you zoom in, focus, and pull out. You should be good to go. I don't know what's going on with that monitor. Though. It's had some peaking. Is that on the camera or is that on the monitor? I don't know, let's see, peaking. It, oh cool, okay, so that's pretty cool. So on these monitors, you got your you bright can, you can tweak your brightness, contrast. All knobs right there. So let's turn peaking way down. I love that zoom out. This, I don't know what's going on with this, uh, this guy's whore, I don't, this satchelor is, there we go. So, the, the cool but unexciting thing about Blackmagic is, Here's your mounts. Is, yeah, so, <laughs> your multiple mounts, I mean, we know about this, it's kind of like old news, it's fun to see it. It's fun to see it. But, nothing new, really. Besides maybe the monitor. Looks like the Nikon mount is not active. Oh, really? See, I don't see any contacts. Do you see contacts? Uh, the Nikon contacts. EF, PL, B4, F. No, it doesn't look like it's active. Huh, yeah, classic AFS. Yeah, AFS okay. and AFD. So here's Ooh. the recorder. Um, five slot, three choice. So like 400 bucks for the recorder. And why does it go through the SDI though? That's bizarre to me. I'm gonna look at it again over here. So it looks like it just, it's just an extension past the battery plate. And I guess, I don't know. I guess, is that dual SDI for Oh. Or is it like a pass through? No, they're both they're both male, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't you find, okay, so the Ersa Studio viewfinder is two grand. But they have their other focus assist monitor, whatever they call it. The video assist? Video assist, yeah. that's what it's called. Yeah. It looks like you got some uh, like a few like some menus. So all the all the function but fun, sorry, it's like a, it's like the viewfinder. Right. It's big. It's kind of cool. Oh, the new thing is, I don't know how new it is, is the micro. The studio cameras? The micro studio. The oh, those things are teeny. Yeah. Holy cow. So we thought we were going to get a 4K upgrade to the pocket. We did not. We did not, but the micro is 4K. I don't know what the damn range is on it though. But you don't get, you don't get like any of the raw functionality. No, you can shoot raw. You can shoot. Uh, oh, you can? Uh, yeah, you can shoot one to three, three to one raw to SSD on that, I think. Which is kind of cool. That's dope. Should we go talk something about Resolve? Yeah. Although I did want to ask like a hardware guy. Oh yeah. About about, your... about LCD. Okay, let's go talk to somebody.
Hey, do you are you a hardware guy or what are you what are you? I'm a marketing dude. You're a marketing dude? Okay, so update really quick. Update. The SSD recorder, the two SDIs are passed through. What 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 is it? Tell me. What you, what so you basically learned. you run it off they're actually trying to do a software update where the file names will get passed through the SDI so you can do proxies. Do That'd be awesome. Um, so that would be awesome. So you could record to your Shogun and also the SSDs and get same file names. That'd be sweet. The other thing is, so August is when they're gonna release this and I think you get two SSDs and you run up to two terabytes of data. It's a little more than my adapter cable I made for 60 bucks, but I would feel better yes. running that probably. Yeah. yeah. And then he said that they are, if you have any kind of screen burn in, Okay, so your camera's been having screen burn issues. Yes. Did you talk to him about your sensor at all? So he said that the fixed pattern noise, basically just with the variation of sensors that ba they're basically bringing in people that have or think they have like, problems and they're recalibrating it on the bench at Blackmagic. And he said at the end of the day, if it's unacceptable that they will replace the sensor, but he said, not, they haven't been able to, they haven't had any where they haven't been able to recalibrate it or do the black shading correction and it go away. So that is is good, but your burn-in does sound like a bad LCD. The, he said that basically they noticed it halfway through they were shipping production stuff and they immediately started bringing in a new LCD. Because he says it's the glass and, and the, the actual, there's, it's like, shouldn't be that bad. And uh, anyways, so. Can you say anything about my audio issues? He said, send it in. Oh, okay. I did ask him. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I, said, I, uh, I said, do I said, am I going to expect um, some uh, some audio issues in the future? He's like, no. He know is like the 4.6. He's like, we do the same preamps, but we kind of made sure that they're more robust and uh, said, send it in. So there are a couple of the cool things these guys have, like uh, little mini recorders and stuff, but. Are you like the, is it the Hyperdeck? Where's one of those we can look at? Yeah, the Hyperdeck school. You know what we need to look at too is uh, more uh, wireless um, transmission stuff, monitoring. Oh yeah, well that was, so I was just talking, so Mike said red's not even here. What? Red isn't even here. They think they're too good for NAB now. Oh my god. Well, of course Apple did that a couple years ago, but red, come on, seriously. That's not cool. It's Red's, not. you know what's weird is Red's always at CES. That's bizarre. 3D camera, I want one. <laughs> okay. All right, so, you know, let's wander back to Central. And so we're in the North Hall, I think, now. And uh, it's a lot of broadcast, a lot of broadcast stuff. stuff. Yeah. That makes sense, because Blackmagic does a lot of broadcast. And, um, Hey, what about this? Uh, should we go and check out the green screen? Oh, yeah. The the cryo go. Yeah, cause I'll be. See, look up there. I'm looking. Computer right. system. Am I on here? Yeah. That's pretty clean, dude. Is it pretty clean? That's pretty clean. It's getting shadows and everything. Wow. Really? Yeah. That's pretty good. You know? Oh, I, sorry, I was doing your your, your news. <laughs> just in time, I got out just in time. They sent in the Brute Squad. The Brute Squad. Okay. Um, yeah, so back to hardware and cool stuff like that. This is the big, those Central are the big Hall. door guys, you see that? Oh, wait, what? They're the big door guys. They're halfway. James? Yeah. I didn't see him. I, I'm bad at seeing people. I'll have to tell him that we saw them. I saw you guys. We said, hey, and you were like, Pfft. Okay. 